What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over 10 times comic books predicted the future and without further ado let's get straight on to the video with number 10 Superman and the 9-11 attacks. The 9-11 terrorist attack was a very tragic event in American history and is definitely something that people will remember for the rest of their lives. Many people were surprised when an issue of Superman was published the day after the 9-11 attacks. This issue focuses on the aftermath of an alien invasion and it, showed, and it showed a smoldering building which just happened to look like the Twin Towers. The LexCorp building is shaped like an L, but the angle of the panel makes it look like it's two buildings. What makes this even more creepy is the fact that the issue also showed attacks on Washington DC and the actual Twin Towers themselves. Even though this was published on September 12th, the issue was written and drawn weeks before the attack. Since DC did not want to offend anyone, they decided to allow people to return the issue. Number 9, Fantastic Four and Cosmic Radiation. Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch, Invisible Woman, and Thing gained superpowers after being exposed to cosmic rays during a scientific mission to outer space. Obviously, this is fictional because if someone was actually involved in a chemical or radiation accident, then they will most likely die. A group of people who lived in China decided to conduct an experiment which involved sending seeds into space. The whole point of the experiment was to see what would happen to the seeds if they were exposed to cosmic radiation. The seeds were planted as soon as they returned to Earth and the results shocked many people. The veggies that have grown were much bigger than usual and they were perfectly safe to eat. So, is it actually possible to receive superpowers from cosmic radiation? Probably not, but this experiment did prove that cosmic radiation mutates organic cells, which is exactly what Stanley said would happen back in the 60s. Number 8 Superman and the Cold War In 1976, DC published a comic that showed what would happen if Superman arrived on Earth in that year and grew up to become an adult in 2001. This comic begins by showing Russian and American armies competing against each other to reach the mysterious ship that was carrying baby Superman. The US manages to find the spaceship and they experiment on the baby by shooting lasers at his face. What makes this comic so impressive is the fact that the writers were able to predict the future by saying that the Cold War will end around the year of 1990. This comic was written in 1976, which is a time period in which relations between the US and Soviet Union were still very tense. So most people thought that the war would last for many more decades. Many comic books tried to predict how the Cold War would end, but they were wrong since most of the stories involved nuclear attacks. In this Superman comic, the Cold War ended due to prolonged diplomacy. Number 7, Spider-Man and Electronic Tagging In case you didn't know, electronic tagging is the attaching of electronic devices to people or goods for monitoring purposes. They are mostly used to track offenders under house arrest or to prevent shoplifting. This technology was around in the 60s, but people did not use it that much until the 80s. What many people don't know is that a Spider-Man newspaper strip inspired its own technological innovation. On August 9th, 1997, Kingpin captured Spider-Man and strapped an electronic radar device on his wrist. He did this because he wanted to make sure Spidey didn't mess with his plans. In 1983, a judge named Jack Love remembered reading this newspaper strip and realized that this electronic device can be used to stop jails from being overcrowded. In a way, this Spider-Man storyline predicted and inspired the invention of electronic tagging. Number 6, X-Men and the 9-11 Attacks In 2001, Grant Morrison's infamous run on X-Men showed a plane flying into a skyscraper in September of 2011. This was not the only time X-Men predicted the 9-11 attacks. During the 1980s, X-Men comics were very popular, which is what caused Marvel to introduce the daughter of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. Rachel Summers comes from an alternate future Earth known as Earth 811. Since there was so much destruction in her world, she decided to go back in time so she could create a better future by joining the X-Men. In one of her first missions, Rachel is battling the Hellfire Club and she was surprised to see that New York was filled with so many buildings. In the time period she originally came from, New York was just a wasteland. The biggest difference she noticed was that the Twin Towers were still standing, but in her time, they had been destroyed in a terror attack. This 1985 comic doesn't tell the fans when the buildings were destroyed, but assuming that it was around 2001 would not be far-fetched. Number 5 Superman and the Challenger Disaster The Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster occurred on January 28, 1986. The NASA Space Shuttle Orbiter broke apart 73 seconds into its flight and it led to the death of 7 crew members. The 80s was also a time period in which John Byrne became the new writer and artist of Superman comics. 
In the first issue, Superman was supposed to save a NASA space shuttle from crashing and this was going to make him an overnight sensation. The Challenger disaster happened just before the comic book was published, so Byrne decided to make a few changes because he did not want it to make it look like he used this tragic event as inspiration. He changed the space shuttle into an experimental space plane. There is one very big similarity between the Superman comic and the Challenger disaster. In the comic book, there is one non-astronaut woman on board named Lois Lane. In the real world, a social studies teacher named Krista McOlive was one of the seven crew members who died. Number 4 Marvel Team Up and the New York Blackouts A big difference between DC and Marvel is that DC characters usually live in fictional cities while many Marvel characters live in real world locations such as New York. John Byrne created an issue of Marvel Team and it involves Spider-Man and Wasp battling Equinox. He is a villain who is capable of shooting fire from his arms. Equinox starts firing at random police officers and one of his stay blasts hits a building and causes a power transformer to short circuits. There was a massive blackout throughout the entire city which is exactly what happened in 1977. This issue came out on the same week as the 1977 New York blackouts. But if you look at the cover it will say that it was published on August because comics are usually released a month or two ahead of the cover dates. The reason why predicting a blackout in 1977 would be so difficult is because there had not been a blackout in NYC since 1965 and there wasn't supposed to be another one until 2003. Number 3 Wonder Woman and the Death of Princess Diana Superheroes are known for dying and coming back to life which is exactly what happened to Wonder Woman in 1997. She fell into a coma, died and eventually came back to life so she can become a goddess on Olympus. The cover of Wonder Woman number 126 showed a newspaper headline that announced the death of Princess Diana of Themyscira. Not many people refer to Wonder Woman as Princess Diana, but for some reason that's what she was called in this issue. Three days after this comic came out, Princess Diana of Wales was killed in a car accident. If you take a closer look at the cover, you'll notice that this comic was written by John Byrne. He is the same person who predicted the New York blackout, Challenger disaster, and an earthquake in Japan in an issue of X-Men. Number 2 Superman and the Atomic Bomb A Superman comic from 1945 shows Lex Luthor creating a new device to cause chaos in Metropolis, which is basically the plot of half the comics Lex Luthor appears in. What makes this storyline so special is that his new invention was the atomic bomb. While this comic was being written, America was secretly working on the first atomic bomb. Since the government wanted to keep the bomb a secret, the Defense Department ordered DC Comics to pull the story. DC listened to them even though the government never told them why they had to pull the issue. Since DC did not know what they did wrong, they made the same mistake a few months later. A Superman newspaper ship showed a physics professor with a cyclotron to find out if the Man of Steel is invulnerable as he says. This was published on April 1945, only 4 months before the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. At this time, almost everything related to atomic energy was censored by the government, but Secret Service did not have enough time to contact DC and tell them to stop printing the newspaper strips. Within a period of a few months, two different Superman writers could have gotten DC in a lot of trouble by spoiling a super secret government project. And number 1, National Comics and Pearl Harbor. National Comics may be a comic book series that was not published by Marvel or DC, but it is way too interesting to not include them on this list. Just by looking at the title and main character of this comic, it is very obvious that National Comics were very patriotic. The first issue introduced Uncle Sam as a superhero version of the national personification of the United States. In the 18th issue, Uncle Sam fought against a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor by the Nazis. Keep in mind that this issue came out in 1941, only a month before US had declared war against Germany and Japan. The comic may have gotten the attacking nation wrong, but the fact that they were able to predict an attack on Pearl Harbor is very shocking. And that is the entire video guys, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Valenplana, comment down what you want to see next, and I'll see you all later.